Christiana. The wealthy college kids. Christiana's hurt. Wealthy college kid. Christiana hurt. The wealthy college kid. Christiana hurt, owner and founder of Wealthy College Kid. What I feel like is no longer working in 2022. <laughs> AliExpress dropshipping. Now, people may like get in the comments and say it's working for them, but I just don't feel like it's working the way that it was working in 2016. Like, you cannot just pick up like a viral lemon squeezer and sell it for $40 on Facebook and run Facebook ads and like make millions of dollars. Argue with your mother and not me, like you can't do it. Like number one, Facebook has positive and negative feedback. They have rules, they have iOS updates. Ad costs are way more expensive. Way more people are up on game that like if it's a sketchy website, it's not gonna ship them the product. Banks are definitely up on game on chargebacks with these sketchy websites. Like it's just not working anymore. What is working in my opinion is like building brands. Like having USA vendors, having USA manufacturers, having fast shipping or like you see this era of everybody making, making it themselves and TikTok really got people thinking they can do hair by themselves, they can build houses by themselves, they can do their own nails, they do everything by themselves like who has to pay anybody which is cool I'm sure there's mad people out there that are now doing things that they used to pay for and now they're doing it themselves I'm not one of them and I'm sure a lot of people aren't like I still go to nail salons I still get my hair done um, I don't want to learn how to do hair and I don't want to learn how to do nails yeah I may learn like some tips or tricks but I'm not like full-on like bought the builder from a video and this whole argument of like learn it on YouTube like if we could all learn all of these skill sets on YouTube, why are we all not rich? Why is there a 1%? Like, why does capitalism exist? Like, just correct me if I'm wrong. Like, you know, like people just don't wanna do it. Otherwise, everybody would go to school, everybody would be rich, everybody would learn all these things from the internet. My knowledge is free, and I'm sure there's a lot of free, you know, knowledge we can use, but in my opinion, like, the person that made the video's work ethic, like, for example, if I make a video about e-commerce, and you watch the video on how to do e-commerce, your work ethic is not my work ethic. We have two different work ethics, so we're gonna have two different results. People want my income with their work ethic, and that's weird, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like works, like nowadays, is just like, really taking the time to make make content, number one. I feel like now you can make a lot of money just making videos yourself, rather than like paying for photo shoots and paying for like influencers and stuff like that. Like I feel like you can really make the money like making viral videos on TikTok and the way a video goes viral on TikTok is just, um, I'm trying to make sure my Uber Eats is here. Where are you? But yeah, like you can just make videos yourself and you can make millions of dollars in a day because the video will go viral and you just keep making, you can make the post the same video every single day and every single day it'll have different results on TikTok. That's what's so crazy about it. But I just feel like what works nowadays is kind of just building something that you can be proud of rather than slapping something together. Like you have to put in some type of effort to be able to really see results in the e-commerce game. Go to door. They never want to come up here. I just feel like building a brand and taking your time to build something that you can be proud of rather than selling lemon squeezers uh, from AliExpress with a funny video you stole off YouTube. It's just like, in my opinion. But hey, correct me if I'm wrong. If you learned something from this video or like these little talk ups, give my video a thumbs up and comment down below and I'll see you in the next one, you feel me? Oh, and I dropped on my personal channel travel content. So you should go check that out right here somewhere. Yeah, bye.